Hi there and welcome. This is Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a good weekend. So today I am sharing with you a technique that I call embellished windows. Now people ask all the time where I come up with technique ideas. Some of them are old techniques. Some of them I just kind of come up with in my head. This one I found out by accident. I was trying to do a different technique and I messed it up but ended up doing this and I love the results. So basically what we're doing is using our laminator to create these embellished window panes that you can use on your card. Today's examples are all snowy or nighttime window scenes, but this is something you could do with different colors of confetti or whatever. I'll show you a bunch of these window examples and a bunch of cards. So stick with me, it's better to see it in action and then to try to explain it. Okay, so for this you need any kind of basic laminator. There are lots of laminators on the market that are very inexpensive. This is one that I've used for years and it works great. If you have the mink machine from Heidi Swap, you could use that for this also. Just turn the uh, laminator on, give it some time to warm up, and then you'll be ready to go. The other thing you need for this technique are laminating pouches. Now laminating pouches are what you normally use a laminator for. You put a piece of paper in to the pouch and then run it through the laminator and it gives it that laminated protected finish. These are the pouches that I happen to use. I use these for a lot of organizing things, so I had a bunch on hand. So you could use this for many things. I even use these with cardstock for my dividers for my stamps and dies. So this is what the laminating pouch looks like. It just folds open, one edge is sealed, and this is what we're going to use today on our cards. I'm first going to start out by showing you some of the different things you can do with this technique. Basically, we're gonna put different things into the laminating pouch and run it through the laminator to make a window. So the first example is the Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter. There are many different types of glitter on the market. I do recommend one that is a little bit bigger than a, like a fine glitter. You'll just put some into the laminating pouch run it through the laminator, and when it comes out, you get this solid clear piece that has that sparkle to it. So you could use any kind of glitter here. I chose one that was iridescent. Now I do think it's even more fun when you use bigger confetti or glitter. In this case, I'm using Studio Katia Chunky Confetti. And I also put in some of the chunky glitter from Lawn Fawn. You can see the confetti pieces are bigger, so it shows up more. So I ran it through my laminator with all of the glitter inside and check out that fun, clear window pane that you get. So anytime you make a shaker window or any kind of acetate on your card, you could do this instead. Here I have some old glitter. I don't know where it's from, I'm sorry, but it's little different shapes of glitter and sequins in silvers and white. And I'm just sprinkling some into the laminating pouch, closing it, and then running it through my laminator. I'm using all clears, silvers, and white today that are a little more subtle, but think about it, you can do like a confetti background of all colorful pieces, and that's something you could use like on a birthday card. But today I'm going for snow looks. Here I have some old snowflake sequins. These are pretty big. So I'm kind of spacing them out in the laminating pouch and also putting some of that little glitter sequin mix in there. Then I just close it and run it through the laminator. Now I thought it'd also be fun if we did little die cut pieces. I wanted little die cut dots. So I used this Mama Elephant cover die, which I'll use again later in this video, die cut from white cardstock. I end up with the background, but all these tiny little white dots. So a lot of dies have that where they leave these white dots. I sprinkled those die cut dots into the laminating pouch and ran it through, and it gives you what looks like snow. So the laminator heats it and smushes it together and traps those little dots inside. Another thing you can put in the laminating pouch is embossing folder. So here I'm sprinkling in some white embossing powder and I'm just gonna leave it as is, close the pouch on it and run it through the laminator. The heat from the laminator will melt and squish that embossing powder and you get this snowy look. If you want it to be more subtle, you just put down less powder. A little goes a long way. By the way, it was using embossing powder in a laminating pouch that I was trying something else and accidentally came up with this and it ended up kind of triggering this whole video. Now a really cool thing to do with your laminating pouch is to put in a teeny tiny amount of ultra high or ultra thick embossing powder. 
These are bigger little granules of embossing powder. So when they go through, check it out. You get these little smooshed white dots. That's fun for snowfall. And you can do this in different colors for a splatter effect. So many things you can do with this. So I encourage you to give this a try. You could create so many cool windows, embellished window panes, using your embossing powders, your confetti, your glitters, your tiny little die cut pieces, whatever you have. So now that we have a bunch of embellished windows, let's create some cards and I have some ideas and techniques to share with you along the way. This first one uses one of the windows that we created with the tiny white die cut dots. Let's first start with our background. I'm using my Picket Fence Life Changing Brushes and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Ink just to add a little bit of fun to this background. I wanted to take that simple blue cardstock and add some variation to it. I also used white pigment ink on there so we could have that sky look. Next, I'm using the new Mama Elephant Winter Forest Dye. I really like this one. It cuts four and a quarter by five and a half, and it quickly and easily makes a winter scene. I die cut it three times from white cardstock, and I glued them on top of each other for dimension. You don't have to do this. You could just do the one if you want to, but I love that bit of dimension. Next, I use the Mama Elephant Fuzzy Hug Stamp Set, which I'll use many times in this video. These little animals and those sentiments are so much fun. I wanted to use I Just Wanted to Send You a Hug sentiment, but it didn't fit onto that bottom of this panel, so I cut my sentiment in half. That way I could put the words next to each other, and it fits perfectly across the bottom of that panel. Now I'm going to test this out and make sure it's all straight, I'm testing that on a scrap of white cardstock before I stamp it onto our die cut panel. So by cutting our stamp, we can always put it back how it was originally intended, but we're able to get a new look out of it, which is this longer sentiment that fits perfect here. Now it's time to assemble these pieces together. This is the front of my stacked forest scene die cuts, and I'm putting tape around the edges. I recommend a strong double-sided tape like this from Lawn Fawn to be sure everything stays together nicely. On top of this, I have one of the window panes that we created earlier. I just trimmed it down with my trimmer. This is the one that has those tiny little white die cut dots. Now on top of that, I will adhere our frame that has our stamp sentiment. So we've created this little scene here. And by the way, you could easily make this a shaker card. I decided not to turn any of today's cards into shaker cards, but this window technique works perfect for it. It's the perfect window uh, for a shaker card instead of using just acetate, and it gives it even more dimension. Okay, so now I'm going to glue that panel onto the front of a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, and then I added our little colored image there. That is from the stamp set that I showed you earlier, and I just did some simple Copic coloring. So let's take a closer look at this. You can see those tiny little dots floating on our window. And then I also did add a few iridescent gems. Not many, just a few. And I thought it kind of brought a little bit of sparkle to the card. And I love those floating white dots. Okay, here is another example for you. In this case, I used the window pane that we created by smooshing that extra thick embossing powder in between. So we get those little white dots. For the sentiment, I use the Mama Elephant Written in the Snow stamp set. This is a really cool set because those images actually look kind of speckled, so it looks like it was actually written in the snow. Off screen, I added a little bit of Distress Ink in the Mermaid Lagoon color onto a Hero Arts Arctic piece of cardstock. That's what you see here. Just a little bit of color on that. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool. And then I stamped the sentiment with Versamark ink, and now I'm adding white embossing powder and heat setting it. So that kind of looks like it's written in the snow. Off screen, I also stamped, colored, and die cut some of the images from the Mama Elephant Snow Angels stamp set. These are super cute, and I'll use it again on another card in this video. So now in my Misty, I'm planning out where to stamp the little snow angel images to match up with the critters that I stamped and colored. I plan to put a frame around this, so I just have it here in my Misty to help me get the positioning right. I want to have these two little bears on the bottom, so I'm lining up over them the snow angel image. Once I have them positioned where I want them, I can go ahead and close my Misty door, 
remove the frame and the other pieces, and white heat emboss this onto our background. I just wanted to make sure I had the positioning just right of these images. To hold our laminated piece over this entire card, I wanted a frame that went around the card. So I'm using two die sets, and I'll explain why in a moment. The first is the Mama Elephant Snail Mail die set. This is fantastic. It's got this cute little mailbox, these little envelopes that you can have tucking into the mailbox. You could do something fun and interactive with that with the pull tab. But what I'm using is that frame. The frame is four and a quarter by five and a half. It has faux stitching right on the outside edge and then the postage cut edge on the inside. And that's what I was originally going to use. You saw me lay it on my card earlier. However, it covered up a little too much because the frame was a bit wide. So I decided to change it a little bit. I grabbed this new Mama Elephant die set. This is another new one. It has dies in it, perfect for making a little gift bag and other accents. Well, I decided to take that frame die that's included in this one and cut it from the center of the other. And it made the other frame a little bit smaller because this is a smaller frame die. So here you can see I'm doing that. I'm just taking this whole die set, placing it right over my other die cut, and that will trim off that postage edge from my die cut and make my frame narrow. I could have used a rectangle die or even a craft knife and straight edge to cut that away. Okay, so now I have my laminated piece, and we're going to glue that to the back of our frame. Again, this laminated piece is the one that I created with little specks of the ultra thick embossing powder. Okay, so now that I have this window, I want it to be over everything on our card. So it looks like the snow is falling over the whole card, including the little critters. This time I'm using double-sided foam tape to put the, uh, behind the frame so it's raised up evenly. And then I use foam tape on the back of our bears right onto our background. Then I can glue our frame right onto our background. I'm using the corner of my Misty stamping tool to make sure that these are positioned directly on top of each other. By putting both pieces in the corner, you can be sure that they are perfectly layered. Okay, so now that we have the front of our panel, I just glued it onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white note card. And there you can see the completed card. So our embellished window piece stretches across the whole front of the card and the bears and sentiment and everything are behind it. This would be perfect for a shaker card if you wanted to. The laminated window pieces we create are nice and thick. So you could put any kind of embellishments in there, sequins, gems, anything to float around if you wanted to. But I decided to skip the shaker card part today and just have these window pieces. Okay, my next example uses a laminated window piece that I created with some sequined stars in it. And this is super cool. You'll see it catches the light perfectly. Now let's do our background first. I have a piece of Hero Arts Lapis Blue cardstock. It's a beautiful color. And I'm adding some seedless preserves and blueprint sketch ink with uh, my life-changing brushes. You could skip this if you wanted and just use a solid cardstock. But since this was a simple card, I wanted to add a little more interest to it. Next, I'm using the Mama Elephant Sky Bursters die. Now I'm just using the frame on this one and I thought it would be perfect for this example. So now I have trimmed down one of my laminating pouches that has all the little star sequins squished in the pouch and I'm gluing that to the back of the frame. And by the way, those laminating pouches are large, so you can get a couple cards out of one, a couple different window pieces. Okay, I also wanted to create a little snowbank for our bunnies to sit on. So I took the oval piece that was left over from our die cut background, and I cut like a little snowbank from one end, and then I decided to cut a snowbank from the other end and put those on top of each other. By using that center piece, it fits perfectly right there into the window opening and I'll glue those to the front of our window pane. I think it'd be fun to make some birthday cards like this where you have different color stars in the window or even little die cut pieces. Now for the sentiment, I'm using the new Mama Elephant Mini Merry Messages stamp set. I thought the warm hugs was perfect for this card and I didn't want to distract from the image or the sparkles in the background, so I thought a small sentiment would be perfect. Before I put the card together, I did decide to use this cover die that I showed you earlier on our blue inked background just for some fun in the backdrop. And I glued that on the front of our note card that is four and a quarter by five and a half. 
Now on top of this, I'm going to glue our window frame that we created and added the stamping to. And I did die cut three additional window frames to go behind this one so it has some dimension to it. So this is nice and thick. Then finally, all we have to do is add our little bunnies to the front. I use liquid adhesive for this, but you could use foam tape if you prefer. So here is the final card and check out how those little stars look like they're floating on the card and they have so much sparkle to them. You could of course have made this into a shaker card. In addition, you could have the floating stars that are squished in the laminating pouch and also some that are moving around behind it. So there are many things you can do with this technique. Okay, my next example is pretty simple and fast to create and shows that you can actually heat emboss on top of these windows that we create. This time I'm using one of our laminated pieces that had regular white embossing powder in between the pouch, inside the pouch, before we ran it through the laminator. I trimmed that down and now I am going to white heat emboss right on top of the window. Now I will say that the heat from the heat gun will want to warp this laminated piece. What you can do is just keep the heat moving to and from it and eventually it will heat set without warping and it worked just fine. I wanted to have a circle die cut window on the front of our card so I'm using the Mama Elephant basic circle dies. Those three larger circles cut a circle with faux stitching around the outside edge and then the smallest die is really cool. It looks like a window pane. I'll use that one on a later card. Now I used one of these circle dies and cut from white cardstock and that will be on the front of our card. On the back of that die cut piece I put some double sided tape and I'm positioning that right on top of our white heat emboss piece. And then I glued all of that on to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. I didn't use any dimension here. Now I'm using an action wobbler, which is a fun little spring that flattens nicely. And it allows our little fox here to wiggle and move when you touch him or when he pops out of the envelope. It's super cool. So here's the finished card and I noticed I got a little, um, little ink boo-boo here and there. So I'm using my creative detailer tool to erase those little ink mistakes. And by the way, a lot of people have been asking and this detailer tool is back in stock and I use it on every card. It's such a handy tool to have. So here you can see how I was able to white heat emboss on our window. And I didn't have to use dimension behind it. Instead, I just glued it right down onto my card between the note card and our die cut panel on the front and it gives that snowy scene with a nice shine to it. Now here's another example that I did that I just wanted to show you. It's really easy to come together. I used that, that die from the Mama Elephant basic circle die set that looks like that circular window pane. Now right behind it, I glued one of our windows that I created by laminating the tiny little white die cut pieces. I then put dimension behind that and then I used another of our laminated windows behind that. So that's laying right up against the card. So this has two layers of laminated window and it gives this really cool three dimensional effect on this very simple card. And here's another simple one. I kind of went overboard with all of these examples, but these images were so cute. And I was able to create a bunch of laminated windows at once. So it didn't take long at all once I had all of those made. So in this case, I used sequin snowflakes and some other tiny little sequins inside of the laminating pouch. And I ran that through the laminator and I got this really cool window pane. I also used that postage edge frame that I showed you earlier to hold that on the front of the card. And I just used foam tape behind that to adhere it to the card. And then on top of the window pane, I glued the sentiment and our cute little cuddling bears. By the way, again, this would be a great card to do as a shaker card. All you have to do is put some elements in there before you glue everything together. Okay, my last example is actually a clear card. In this case, I used one of our laminated window pieces and created a card from it. This again is super easy to do. This features the Mama Elephant, the Penguins Waddle stamp set, which is just adorable. And by the way, since those penguins are black and white, it's really quick and easy to color. And the coordinating die set also comes with the word die that says, Oh So Merry. So I cut one of our embellished laminated window pieces down to be eight and a half by five and a half inches. I'll use my scoreboard to score at four and a, uh, four and a quarter. So basically I'm just creating a note card here. 
Now once I've scored this, I'm going to go ahead and fold it over and use my bone folder to reinforce that fold line. However, I did take this afterwards and send it through my laminator folded, which reinforced that fold line even better and smushed it flat. It doesn't seal it, don't worry, but look how you end up with a really nice note card made out of one of our laminated pieces. So now we just need to assemble this. On the back of my little penguin piece, I'm putting double-sided tape and I'll glue that to the front of our card. By the way, I just stamped and colored this with Copic markers and then die cut it. Next, I'm going to die cut three more of the same shape from white cardstock. These aren't stamped, they're just die cut. I'll put adhesive onto the front of one of these die cuts and that will get glued inside of our note card. So watch, I'm going to glue it right behind the stamped piece that we've already glued to the front of the card. So this covers up our the back of our front piece so you don't see the adhesive through on the inside of the card. Now here is another die cut that has adhesive on the front of it. I'm going to open up the card and line it up. The adhesive's facing the camera. Close my card on it and that gives us a white die cut inside of the card where we can write our message. And then finally I'm putting one on the back. So what this allows us to do is not see any of the adhesive through the card and we have places to write our messages. So here's our card. It ended up being four and a quarter by five and a half and the top portion is clear with our floating little um, sequins. These happen to be little star sequins. There's a place to write your message in the inside and to stamp your handmade stamp on the back. I did white heat emboss a sentiment from the Mama Elephant Holiday Messages stamp set onto a little red cardstock scrap and adhered that to the front of the card. And by the way, this card stands up nicely. It acts just like a regular card. It just happens to be see-through at the top. Okay, I did want to show you one stamp set before I go. I ran out of time to make yet another card, but it'd be perfect for this technique. This is the Mama Elephant O oh Puppy Tree stamp set, which is just so cute. And it would be fun to do a clear card like I just did, but make it vertical so it opened up vertically. And you had this tree on the bottom of that. I did do a video using a similar stamp with cats. I'll link to it here so you can find another way to use this stamp set. Okay, so there you have it, a fun way to create embellished window pieces. There are so many things you can do with this technique. I hope you'll try it. Now, if you liked any of these products and want to check them out, they are linked below in my YouTube description. And if you click here on the top right, it takes you to my blog where there's lots of photos and more. There are also a couple videos there in the middle that you might like watching also. And I'm grateful that you stopped by. I appreciate it. And we'll see you again very soon.